Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today's video is yet another review on a product I have been using for just about two weeks now. So if you guys are interested in watching this review, then continue watching. Today we're going to be reviewing the Dior Skin Nude BB Cream by Dior. That was a mouthful. Dior Skin Nude BB Cream by Dior. Um, so yeah, we're just going to talk about the product um, and all of that good stuff. And then towards the end of my review, I will be doing a kind of a demo, if you will. So stick around towards the end to see how it looks and how I apply it and all that good stuff. So hang around, stick around. Okay, so basically this is a BB cream. Um, going back to what BB cream is and what it's all about, basically it could stand for beauty balm or some may call it blemish balm. Um, but basically it's just kind of like almost like a tinted moisturizer, so it's a very lightweight coverage um, that offers pretty much everything. So it's like a primer, a moisturizer, a foundation, um, it smooths, corrects, it does all of that in one product, um, which is kind of amazing. So if you are kind of in the market for something that's close to that or similar, then I definitely suggest checking out BB cream. So anyway, um, this is the box that it comes in. It's just a blue box and it has all of the information in the front. Um, this does come in a full one fluid ounce. So you get one fluid ounce of product. The BB cream comes in a total of four shades. Um, I think you can get the fifth shade at Sephora. I'm not too sure how that's how that works because I did check out the Sephora website and five shades were available. However, I went to a certain other website and there was only four available. So I'm not too sure. Definitely do your research on that. Um, I got mine from Sephora the actual store. I didn't order it, so I went to the actual store. So the five shades that they offer would be Light 001, Fair 002, Medium 003, Dark 004, and the fifth one is Tan 001. Um, I got the color 003, which is medium, and in kind of reference to MAC, um, I would be an NC30 to an NC35. Chanel, I'd be a 40 beige. And in Bobbi Brown, I'd be a 4.5 warm natural. So it kind of gives you an idea. If you guys are closer to my color, then you would definitely uh, be a medium 003. Now, the only thing I have to say bad not necessarily bad, but just kind of a slight issue are the color ranges. Um, 003 medium is slightly dark for my skin right now, especially because it's winter. So that's pretty much the only thing I have to say bad about the BB cream. Other than that, I love it. I love the consistency and the texture. I love the coverage that it offers. It's definitely more of a sheer coverage, but it does build. So if you feel like you just want to wear this as a primer or a base um, underneath your actual foundation, then you could. Um, or if you just want a lightweight foundation, um, lightweight coverage, then you can definitely wear it by itself. Um, this retails for $44, um, and it does have an SPF 10. The SPF 10 is kind of a slight issue because I usually like a higher SPF factor, but all in all, I wear SPF in my moisturizer, so it's not really a big deal. Um, but I do would I would have expected more, just a little bit more in a BB cream um, as far as SPF, but it's still okay. 10 is still protecting your skin. That's pretty much it. So I'm just going to kind of show you guys what it looks like. When you open the box, you get this little doodad here, just information on your BB cream. 
and this is what it looks like. It's a pink tube container, um, which I think the packaging is just kind of simple. It's really just down to what it is, um, no fuss. It pretty much has your skin nude on top, BB cream right in here, and then just kind of information on it, like broad spectrum SPF 10, and then down below the Dior. And then on the back, it has more detailing, and then the color, which is 003, and um, the ounces, and then all of that good stuff. Now, another good thing I like about this BB cream is that instead of it, just being a squeezed tube, it actually comes with a pump, which I think is genius because you're able to pump out as much as you want without having to waste way too much product. Um, literally, maybe one pump, one full pump will do you, or a half a pump if you don't feel like using too much. Um, so, oopsie. I'm so... So if you don't feel like using too much, then you're able to control how much you're pumping out and dispensing all at the same time. And I just think that's an amazing feature in this BB cream. And here is the cap. It has a CD on top for Christian Dior. And it basically just pops right back in there and you hear a little snap. And that's that for packaging. I think it's pretty simple and down to its business. So um, overall, I think that this BB cream is pretty amazing. Like I said, I've been using it for two weeks and I think it's a clear um, way to say that it's pretty, it's actually a really good BB cream. I like, like I said, I like the consistency. I like the coverage. It's not heavy. Um, smell, there's not a smell. It's almost just kind of a fresh smell. Um, there's no fragrance at all, at least not an annoying fragrance where you're just going to die when you have it on your face. So there's not a really, really distinct smell. Um, but yeah, I hope I covered everything as far as the review. So now stay tuned for the demo and I guess, yeah, so let's just go right into the demo. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start off by pumping a full pump of the BB cream on the back of my hand and dotting it all over my face. Um, prior to this, I did remove my foundation, so we're working with bare skin. Obviously, I have my eyebrows and my eyeshadow and eyeliner and lipstick on. So right here, I'm blending it with my fingers and instead of using a brush, I pretty much opted to just blending it out with my fingers. I feel like with BB creams, it's a lot easier to blend because I feel like it's more like a moisturizer treatment versus like an actual foundation. So using your fingers definitely helps to kind of warm it up to your skin. And to me, it gives you more of like a flawless, um, even finish. So right here, I'm just kind of blending it more. I'm pumping about less than a half a pump um, just for specific areas. Like right in here, I had kind of a blemish um, or scar. So I'm just kind of building coverage right in this area right here and just kind of patting the product onto my skin. And then up top on my forehead, I did have a little blemish as well. And... Um, so now we're just kind of looking and making sure everything looks good. The lighting kind of transitions, so it's um, kind of funky. It's light and then dark and then light. And as you can see, it almost kind of has like a yellow cast, but all in all, it works out. So I hope you guys um, got a better picture, and yeah, and that's pretty much it. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review on the Dior Skin Nude BB Cream. Stay tuned for more videos and especially reviews in the future. If you guys have any requests at all, post them down below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. 
and thumbs up if you think this review was helpful. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.